Are you looking for a new microphone for your gaming or streaming setup? Well, then you really only have the options of Blue, Rode, and Sure. Or do you? Yo, what up YouTube? Crash Wilcox, and today I'm kind of trying to bring you a video that's a little bit different than what I've ever done before. I don't do microphone reviews. But I stumbled across a nice microphone that I actually picked up for myself. Well, two of them, as you can see here. And I just wanted to make this video as sort of another option because I never stumbled across this brand of microphone when I was looking um, for myself. And the only way I found it, so I was going along, just kind of looking at what other people use. You know, I would watch a video and I would see what sort of microphone somebody was using. Um, and then start looking at you know more national level broadcasters and and that sort of stuff and what kind of microphones were they using and that's how i stumbled across this one so full disclosure um if you are a diehard political um snob and you can't stand anybody from the other side of the aisle this may rub you the wrong way but the microphones have nothing to do with this so the way i stumbled across these was just researching you know, who does this big radio host use and whatever. And um, I found Glenn Beck and the microphone that he uses. Um, I saw the picture of it and was like, that's a weird little microphone I've never seen before. Um, did a little research and found out that he uses um, a microphone from Lewitt Audio, which is where I grabbed these from. I picked up two of them. And just looking at them, they really have two microphones that I think fit the needs of what most of us would be using them for, you know, a gamer, a streamer, um, or even a podcaster and that sort of thing. They have the, uh, the Lewitt, I think it's the LCT240 Pro and the LCT440 Pure. And we have the 440 Pure right here. That's what we're looking at. And this isn't to um, say that this microphone is better than a Blue, a Rode, a Shure, or anything like that. They're all great microphones, great choices. This is just another option, you know, that you may, if you're like me, you may not have stumbled across before. And price to what you actually get, I think is pretty good, even compared to some of the other brands. So uh, just going through this video, we're just going to kind of talk about the microphone a little bit. We'll do an unboxing so you can kind of see what comes in the box. I will have a link down in the description um, to Amazon. So if you want to use that link and pick this up, it will benefit the channel a little bit, but um, otherwise I just think it's a good option for you. So uh, these are uh, XLR microphones, so they don't have a USB connection. So you're going to need some sort of audio interface to hook these up. And then, um, I think the the 240 Pro comes in at about $150. I picked the 440 Pures up for around $220 a piece. Um, so they're still relatively affordable. And when you look at basically them compared to, you know, like a, a Rode or a Blue, they have a pretty neutral. And again, I'm not a microphone expert. I'm going to link down in the description a video from, I think it's podcast stage. I don't know how you necessarily say it, but he does a lot of microphone reviews, very smart on it. And he did a review on these microphones, pretty glowing review in my opinion, which is one of the things that swayed me to buying this microphone. Um, but it has a pretty neutral tone. Um, doesn't really lift up your lows or your highs or anything like that. It's pretty neutral tone as far as um, the sound of the microphone. And just built really well. And again, you know, in my opinion, again, politics aside, if somebody of a, a Glenn Beck sort of broadcast level uh, is willing to use a microphone like that, and he's used, I think it's a podcast, the Rode Podcaster in the past. Um, but if he would endorse it enough to use it, I suppose, and for whatever I need it for, I feel like it's good. And again, politics aside, his voice sounds good on the radio. So uh, I guess that speaks highly to the microphone. But, um, and then just again, that price to what you actually get, you know, there's obviously the Shure SM7Bs, right? And I kind of 
consider the Shure SM7B as sort of a high-end microphone for what we would need it for. I don't know why on earth you would need to spend more than four to five hundred dollars on a microphone for a game or a streamer, that sort of thing. Um, so this would be more mid-range in my opinion, whereas something maybe like a Blue Snowball is budget. Um, that fifty dollar range, this is the mid two hundreds. Sure, SM7B is up near the four hundred. To me, that's sort of the the low, mid, and high range of anything we would ever need. So we're gonna go ahead now, get this thing opened up, and see what is inside these boxes. All right, so now obviously I'm only gonna open one of these because they're the exact same microphone, but it just comes in the standard um, cardboard box. And here you can see and I should have mentioned that it is a condenser microphone so I know things like the Rode Podcaster, um, Shure SM7B and stuff those are dynamic microphones so a little bit different this is a condenser. So it comes with a little sleeve, little like faux leather sleeve to carry it in. But this is what really made this microphone stand out to me. So you not only get the microphone, obviously that's the most important, and it's pretty heavy. Uh, I think it's a double layer like metal mesh construction. Um, it is a front speaking, you know, so you're not talking into it this way, you're speaking directly into the front. Um, but really clean, pretty low profile for what a microphone is. You know, a Rode Podcaster is pretty big, and we know the Blue Yetis are pretty big, but this is a pretty, I mean, this is my hand, you know, so it's a pretty low profile microphone as far as I'm concerned. But, so you not only get a wonderful microphone, that sounds fantastic, but inside of here, You also get an included um, little foam cover for it, which is pretty nice. You also get an included shock mount, which is pretty sweet um, to mount your microphone on. And then also you get an included metal like mesh guard pop filter that's magnetic and just fits right over top of the microphone. So it'll be magnetic. So all of this comes for just $220, which it's $220 just for a Rode Podcaster. So basically, as you can see from the unboxing, I think it's a great value for the money. 220 bucks can be a lot to swing for some people. Um, and if that's the case in blues, you know, the Yetis, the Snowballs, or even the, uh, the 240 Pro, those are good options as well. But I think with the 240 Pro, you don't get the included, you know, mesh guard, you don't get the shock mount, you don't get, you basically just get the microphone and the carrying case. So in my opinion, wonderful value. You're pretty much ready to go. You know, if you already have that interface, um, you know, but a boom arm or a, a microphone stand and you're ready to go. So um, go check out the review from Podcast Age. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in finding out more about this, I'm, I haven't been using it yet. I'm about to hook it up and start seeing what it's like for me. But again, this isn't a, my microphone's better than your microphone. It's just a, hey, here's another good option sort of video. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope I enjoyed it as well, but that's all I got for you guys. God bless.